new stuff is good too. Um, uh, what else have I been listening to? Uh, hmm. Any K-pop groups or artists that you're into these days? So, like, old school, like, old school shiny. Um, I was just, uh, listening to their one, one of one album, that was really good. And, uh, oh, where's, oh. Yes, Kay, I heard it. Like, yeah, DBSK is always, like, a really good yeah. comfort zone. Um, I don't know if you guys, know, like, Flight to the Sky, old school shiny. Um, they're very aware of You guys are very good. Yeah. good. You guys need to know these groups. Is what I I you, I started listening to Korean music through not idol music. So when people ask me like, oh, so how did you get to Korean music? I'm like, I liked this one ballad group. Uh -huh. and they're like, oh wow, I like ballads. I'm like, yeah, I love ballads. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. There's a, they're always nice to revisit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then another question is how um, how did you get yourself into being in the entertainment industry? Like, how did your parents? feel about it and what was like the <laughs> <laughs> um my I, I was I was casted um in in K Town. K Town <laughs> I was casted in K Town and then did an audition process, got in. Um my dad was really against it. He he you know, it's not it's not like the ideal um tip, sorry, typical Asian like household thinking like entertainment, why? Because I, I was, I was getting like, I was on the right track to go to a good school and everything. But uh, my mom was extremely supportive, uh, so she was just like, "Do what your heart tells you." Right? So I'm all like, "Oh, my mom! I love my mom. She's so cute." She, she's all like, "Amber, whatever you do, you need to love it. You have one life, YOLO. Well, not YOLO. <laughs> but she's essentially similar to YOLO. But yeah, my, my dad, he's he's come around a little bit. He's just like, because. Um, you know, it, being entertainment, it's, it is really risky, and um, you know, luckily our group is, did take off very, very fast. So, um, very fortunate, very thankful for that, and very blessed. So, yeah, just they must be really proud to see you on TV and all that. How do they? I feel? think they're at a point where like, when are you gonna come home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm away from them. Yeah, I'm away from them a lot, and uh, yeah, that's the one thing that I kind of like really try to make a goal was, you know, I, I think I need more family time and more friend time, so um, working is great, but, you know, like I said before, rest, work, you need to, you know, work smart, work-life balance. You know, work balance, so, yeah. Did yeah. you always want to become uh, a singer? I didn't think it was a pos it was possible until... <laughs> Why do you say I, that? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, because, like, when the opportunity came, like, obviously, when you grow up, you're like, yeah, even though I want to be a singer, you're not gonna, like... Like very little percent of people can, you know, really make it to quote unquote the top and whatnot. And I think that's again what we uh, see. But just you know, if whoever wants to get into entertainment, you know, you don't always have to be that top one percent to be successful in the industry. Like I said, that's why I said, "What is success to you?" You know, because there's a lot of working actors. There's you know people in, in, in my sister worked at a radio station. She was in entertainment. You know, like there's a lot of different ways to be involved in the industry. So whoever's inter interested in that, you know, don't you don't always have to be that one percent. Don't let that discourage you. That's just like you know the you know the the I want to say lucky. That's not the right word, but you know that there's a the you know ah, man, I don't even know how to say this. English is very hard today. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, this, it's a it's a fun industry. So, yeah. And then we all know that you have a YouTube channel. Yeah! And, uh, you YouTube. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. And so, what made you want to create a channel? I legitly felt. I've been on TV a lot, and I think 
that it's really fun, but I think there's a whole different side that you can't get on TV that for certain artists. So I really wanted to, I guess, just take that into my own hands. You know, I, I did, I wanted to make something that was just like so real. There was no scripts. There's no, no like weird, you know, I want to say manipulate, like no like weird fakeness or whatever. Um, it's just raw. I think it's very raw. Original. Sorry, not, not, not fakeness, but it's like, man, I can't find the right words today. Yeah, it's a little bit more raw and personal. I want to say personal because um, I also felt that there was a lot of things that I wanted to talk about and that I wanted to share with people that people were very curious about that, and there was no platform to do it. So, you know, if you guys are interested in my really weird life, you know, you may check out my music channel. Um, it, I, I know it's not for everyone, so but it's, it's check it out. It's I weird. think it's really fun. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of weird things, and my sense of humor is very, very like at a third grade level. <laughs> so, well, I'm, I'm actually really glad people like like it. So yeah, thank you, thank you guys, whoever watched it. like to like create the content because you always have to direct it from you know start to bottom yeah. and where do you get the ideas from or inspiration I I'm just very spontaneous a lot of these are very spontaneous and um, I do have a lot of friends who did YouTube so they're just like you know all you, you like the audience wants is basically you to be you and I was like wait yeah that's what I want from the channels that I subscribe to oh that makes sense so um, yeah, it's, I, I always forget how much goes into, like, making videos, and it's not, it's not an easy process, you have to cut everything, you have to make sure you get all the shots that you want, or you make sure that everything flows together, or you just have this really weird transition, which is basically 80% of my videos, because I never <laughs> forget, um, but it's also, you know, it's, it's, I just love having infinite, like, uh, space to create whatever I want, um, and even like the whole chest, have you guys seen my chest video? Yeah! It was so funny. Like even something like that, like that's something that I've wanted to make for years because I've just seen it. But then like, again, that's the reason why I wanted to make my YouTube is because like, I just wanted to just fire back at people the way I wanted to. Because I'm, I'm not like a, you know, I'm not always like giggly and bubbly. I'm always, I'm kind of, I'm very actually like pessimistic a lot, just like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, be creative and see how I could, you know, use that against them and, you know, uh, a lot of fun in a positive yeah. way. Yeah, and like a lot of, like, in, you see a lot of hate comment videos and it's like, wow, like, it's, there's something like very satisfying with like, you know, firing back at people because these people are just like putting up these mindless comments because they're just behind a screen. But like, dude, say that to my face. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, like, I I think it's every every video is different, every day is different, every concept is different. So it's it's a challenge and it's really fun. 